mute. My boo boo boo. There it is. Hey, <clears throat> are we on? Thumbs up, Ace. Look at him. Look at you. We're in the Incredible Box. The twenty thousand dollar Incredible Box. Hey, can I give you guys my million dollar view? Watch this. <laughs> look here. This is what you have. Look at that, Amanda. Look at that view. Wow. Yeah. You can't beat that. That is beautiful, isn't it? Hey, you can see the greenery. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So I wanted to show you guys another look at the Incredible Box. I know you've been here before. Mm -hmm. You've seen the bed and everything, but this is now I've got water, power. Everything's hooked up on yes. site right here. You mean I can do this? Yes. And the water heater kicks on, mm. my bathtub, I've taken showers. It's like, yeah. So I'm finally home. There was a guy today come in from Ohio, and he said, I said, hey, this is my home. He goes, no, it isn't. It's a container. No, listen, it's the Hobbit. No, it isn't. Just... He'd been watching the videos. <laughs> but this is it. And I just wanted to come in and say, hey, this is a $20,000 house. Mm -hmm. The Incredibox. Yeah. Right? Well, and uh, uh, the um, video on Friday did really well because you said, um, you put in the title additions to the twenty thousand dollar incredible box house without increasing the price. Yes. What were those additions? <clears throat> that was a line set and drain electric. We're going to put for a mini split above the door, mm -hmm. which gives it. There's ample room for it. We're just going to make a box for it. You can just mount it whenever you want to, mm -hmm. and your outside condenser can go on the tongue mm -hmm. and say, "Okay, see so this higher." A heating and air guy, or you can do it yourself. You can mm -hmm. because all the refrigerant is in. The mini split itself, you just have to evaporate the lines and okay. it's get a little evaporator. But anyway, you can do a DIY on that. And also a sink will be plumbed in the floor, in the bathroom, and you can mount it to the wall. And it's right underneath that light switch. So that light switch will go up higher to accommodate a sink. And that'll go up there. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, of course it will. Yeah, man. So uh -huh. I think those were, those are cool additions that somebody had asked me about. And they didn't, they didn't want them in. They just asked me if they are in. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know, why don't we do that? So I asked Tom about our, the, the amount of money it would take to put a line set in. The, we're already in the floor plumbing it, so why don't we go ahead and do that, you know? Okay. So. Well, good addition. Yes. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? Hey, <laughs> I didn't know if you guys knew, but I'm a bona fide college graduate, man. Did you know that? Well, of course I knew. I mean, I'm a smart guy. Yeah. I'm a smart feller. Or I'm a fart smeller. Uh, <laughs> but the reason Something I'm saying like this is I was, uh, who was that? I think I was talking to Kelly today. <clears throat> and so. Because she's going to go back to school. Yeah, she's going to go back to school. Going to be a teacher. I mm -hmm. thought that was cool. So I yeah. went to school right out of high school. I went to college right out of high school to a junior college. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have the money to pay for my junior college. So... And I'd never done any kind of carpentry. I hated carpentry. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I absolutely like despised carpentry, and made it a point to never be a carpenter. I mean, it was like something I sought out to never do. Well, and two, it was not in your family. You know, your dad didn't do it. Never touched it a, a tool. It wasn't anything like that. Never right. touched tool. Mom mm -hmm. cut her finger off in a factory. She's scared of saws. Once you stay so away from them. Never touched it. Nothing. Didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't even want to. Mm -hmm. um, until. Wow, I, what, I got married as a teacher, and I said, hey, I need a house. And I thought, I can't afford one, so i got to build one. So I got a book. Of course, I've told the story about doing that and built one. But I remember going to school for over three years yeah. and only had a 1.8 grade point average. And I was like, oh, my God, that's, you know, that's almost a dick D. You know, it's a low C, almost a D average, right? That's so awesome. when I went back to school at 25, I took three, four years out off and went back and made the dean's list for two years. And in, Which is awesome. Well, and you know what? For three years, all I did is maybe sign my name on a check mm -hmm. and, read, and read Muscle Magazine. That's about all the reading I'd ever done. Mm -hmm. So anything else, I was not ready for school. I was told not to go back to school. I was told to take a class to get ready. And I took on four or five classes and I aced them all. But it yeah. was because I finally focused in on something I knew I wanted to do, you know. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> there's a little story I want to tell you guys. I don't know if you guys want to hear this, but turn me off if you don't like it. <laughs> but I had a, and this has been something about my life for, it's been following me, 
it's like I had a speech class and so you got to give a speech well the speech is you're supposed to have a prop so you had to have some sort of prop to be able to use in your speech mm -hmm. well I had a good buddy of mine he was a year older and he was at the at the junior college and he was handsome and he was a pitcher and he was playing sports and all that stuff and he's kind of guy great guy had everything going for him well he was in a speech class too well when his prop he had a baseball and he was a pitcher well his prop was he's going I'm going to show you how to throw a curveball he didn't study he didn't do nothing all he did is he came to class gave his buddy a mitt gave him a mitt and in the classroom he said this is how you throw a curveball and he had and showed him how you twist it and how you come over and you flick your elbow and all that kind of stuff on three minutes sat down got an A alright so what mine was I was next in line so what I what did I do I got there two hours before class I hauled all this equipment up to the class from my car out in the parking lot that was like three football fields away. Oh God! I had a, I had, and it was winter time. It was blowing the snow and rain and slush and everything. So I'm, I mean, it took me four trips to get all my equipment inside the the classroom. I got there two hours before class started, put it all in there, hooked it all up. It was the speakers and it was a, a, a stereo system back then. We had a turntable and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. The only way I could do it, and I had it all going and I dimmed the lights. And I turned on, and it was a song called the Edmund Fitzgerald. You guys probably heard about it. Of course. It. Well, that happened in northern Michigan up on the um, uh, Lake Superior back. It was in November, and it, it was real. It was back, I think, in the late 70s. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was a famous song, famous wreck, and I thought, hey, I'm going to use that as the prop, you know, as the, 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 the song in the background and the story. And I told the story of this you know, Edmund Fitzgerald and all the men dying and this odd oh, stuff and it was exciting, it was dramatic and it was awesome and I got done and it took, <laughs> took me hours to prep this thing and I got a D on it. Why did you get a D? A D. That's drastic. I mean, why did you get a D? And he loved all the, all the sports guys in there, all these jocks and stuff. The, the male teacher, he said, he, he just you could just tell he liked all them guys. I get up there and he said, yeah, he even gave me right then. He goes, yeah, he said, you missed it. I said, <laughs> I said uh, what? I thought I had it down, right? And uh, <laughs> nope. He said that he said the dim lights and the the faint music in the background was a distraction. He couldn't couldn't concentrate on what I was talking about. I said, it's the Edmund Fitzgerald. My God, the song is just so. You were setting knows. the mood. I was setting the mood. So anyway, <laughs> I swear that's been the omen of my life since then. I mean, in a, it's it's happened before that too, but I swear, I always overwork, always overperform, always overthink, always this work so hard to get minimal return. You know, it's always been that way. It seems like, and uh, and that dear friend, he's a great guy, and um, he's, he's down in Florida. He's retired. Man, he ended up getting out of college. He got a great job. <laughs> he had a great career, and it was just you just. He just fell right into it, and then he's just retired. Let me guess, he married the homecoming queen. Yeah, they have beautiful I love it. children, and blah 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 blah. Just about, <laughs> just about, yeah. You know, and I don't, I don't know as all his struggles and stuff because everybody has them. But, sure. But it's been a pretty good ride for him, and and for me, I just remember it seems like everything has. I told Tom today. I said, man, how come it's always everything that I do involves a tremendous amount of effort to get somewhere and I feel like am I not you know I just think hey I'll be the first one to stand in line and say you know what man I just ain't got you know I've got to, I just got to bust my butt to get there you know I'm, I don't I mean I don't have the the amount of aptitude to achieve what where I need to go um but anyway I just tell I tell that I, I was thinking about a story today and I was talking about Kelly and her going back to school and it reminded me of that story you know and Sometimes I think when I tell stuff like that, it may give you guys, somebody's watching this thing. We got almost 100,000 subscribers, Amanda. We so almost do. Somebody might be liking that story or relate to it or might help them. Don't stop. Just keep trying. You know, some people looks at my life and they say, there ain't no way I'd want to go through what you went through to get where you're at. I know my own son doesn't want to. He said, Dad, it ain't worth it, man. I don't want to go. I don't want to work that hard. But it's part of it. And... This Incredibox is, I, I always want to show it to you guys because I know we have a lot of people buying these now. We almost got our 100, almost got our 100 people. Mm -hmm. We got some mm -hmm. municipalities that are interested in it. We've got some people that are interested in for the homeless. 
Um, we have a municipality, I think, in near West Tennessee mm -hmm. that's really thinking about the Incrediboxes, you know, a hundred of them. And I can see that because there's, and, you know, there's a lot of government money and grants and stuff now for, the, for homes to be built, affordable housing. And I know that's not appealing to everybody and it's not the answer for everybody, but man, it is darn good shelter, mm -hmm. you know? And oh, it's a beautiful home. I love living here. Somebody I, I heard said, hey, I don't know how to paint. And I'm like, you don't have to know how to paint in here. Just slap it on. I mean, just put it on there. Just make sure it's all one color. Then they said, well, I don't want to look at rivets. You know, screw heads. I don't know. You can't see them too hard. You cannot. It is so, you can barely see them. I'm yeah. telling you, you have to really be looking. But it is such a nice home. I love it. Yeah. You know, I, the men of the part that I'm liking the most is it's so simple. Yeah. That's what I like because housing. When you build a house, and I know everybody, you know, you get a 1,500 to 5,000 square foot house, you know, mm -hmm. and it takes so much architecture and building and time and money and engineering. And it's just, you know, it's mm -hmm. an undertaking, right? And you got builders all over the country that are building six, 700 homes a year. They're massive builders with all the infrastructure and all the builders. Mm -hmm. and, and then, you know, you've got mobile homes that go quick too, but they're so, they're just so intricate. Mm -hmm. This is the most simplest home that I can think of. It is not a shed. It's better, you know, there are shed builders that are now getting into building tiny homes, but they're still building sheds, mm -hmm. but they're making them look maybe like a little tiny house. Right. And then you have to go in, still wiring and plumbing and all that. I find that most of our infrastructure, like water, power, and sewer, is in the floor because our walls are solid, yeah. right? So when when you buy a shed, you're gonna to have to go back and plumb it. You're gonna to have to mm -hmm. wire it. You're gonna to have to insulate it. Then you gotta finish it. And then you've got to get inspected. All that's done here, and we can do that in a matter of hours mm -hmm. versus days, weeks, and months to build right. a house. Mm -hmm. And you got shelter, you know? So now, if you're wanting an intermediate home, I know when I first built my first big house that I lived in, and it was a home, 3,000 square foot house and all that, which I built for $30,000 back in 1990. But I lived in a 14 by 14 shack made out of root, used lumber, used windows, used flooring, used metal, used everything. This right here is way better than a shack. It was freezing in that shack. It was, it didn't look nice. It was, you know, this right here, two people can live in this for as met, as long as you need. So if you're building a house or you're, you're needing temporary housing, for a year or for two years. Or if you're thinking, hey, I want to get out of an apartment, right? Or I want to get out of somewhere where we're paying a lot of rent and you bought some land, buy this thing and live in it for a year or two while you're living on your land, save your money, and then use it to live in while you're building your own home or watching it built, right? Mm -hmm. There's so many ways to use this for the price. For $20,000, my gosh. And then you've got the Airbnb advantage that you can put on this thing after you get out of it mm -hmm. and move into your other dwelling if you have, you know? Well, and so. two, you know, the um, people who have resold our homes have done nothing but well. We, I've not heard of anyone who has resold their home for less than what they paid. And that's all. Not one I never person. Thought of that. Have you? No. I've not. And I think it's that's that's a big testament. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, not I one person. We're it's because we're I don't know if we're selling too cheap, or but. Well, something that you always told me, and this was a long time ago said you shouldn't complain about uh, any kind of a price with anybody. If you two agree on it and done. you're fine with it, it's done. And I never thought of it like that. When you told me that, I was like, you know what? That's right. It's like, so somebody could take it and go sell it for 20000 more. Yeah. Well, you agreed on a price I already. It. Yep. That's all, it's all good. Yeah. And good for them, yep. right? I, I want people to make money off of what we built. Yeah. You buy this for 20000 you go out and you can sell it for ten dollars or $15,000 more. Mm -hmm. Do it all yeah. day long. You know that if you took this house right now and you took it out west where mm -hmm. cost of living is really high. Yes. Or other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And tiny homes are... Are, are and you know are allowed and people like mm -hmm. them. I guarantee you this place would go. And if you had an Airbnb record that it rented out for a year or two and made however money as an income, it's going to be worth more. Oh yeah. I mean, think you go to and I don't know. I don't even know what they are, but I mean, I know tumbleweed. Mm -hmm. Their first six eight by sixteen. This floor right here. Of course, they had a loft. 
was 65 grand seven years ago when we were in business. We started mm -hmm. business, 65 grand. And the only reason I remember that, that's why I got into tiny homes, mm -hmm. is because it was so expensive. Right. We're still at, man, the first home I ever sold was 20 grand. Mm -hmm. I remember, 19,995. And this one is still at 20 grand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even though it's not got a pitch and it's a little bit different looking, I know it's not as... Uh, as and too, we could go out and show the outside of it again, but it's well, super cute. It's different. And... The world's changed in seven years. Oh my you know? God, absolutely. Yeah. And you know what? That house <coughs> I built my personally myself with used materials mm -hmm. for 20 grand. So sure now is. you've got a production house seven years it later. It was even a used trailer. Used trailer. <laughs> Isn't that something? Go on, buddy. That little heater will run you oh, out of there. I was just about, I was like, why did you think I wanted to come outside? It's getting hot in there, I'm man. It's getting hot. That looks so cute. That looks so cute. I so somebody it. was saying, I don't know what to do with that house. There is so oh many things. Man, name, give me three things you would do on the outside of the house other than what we did. What else could you do if you owned a house? Oh, well, I mean, you could put pallets on the outside of it, like put wood on it. You could put stucco on it. You could put little stones on it if you wanted to. Oh, um, that's true. Yeah, you could do, there's all kinds of stuff. Listen, back in the 80s, I would have bedazzled it. <laughs> What's bedazzled it? Put, put jewels all over it. You Ace, put, come here. You He's running put off. all kinds of stuff. Come here. <coughs> Ace, come here. Come on. Come on, Ace. I'm sorry, guys. I know. We're trying to keep an eye on Great. him. Okay. Ace, come here. Hey, Albert. Neighbor's getting fed up with him going in their yard. I come know. here. Come here, Ace. Come here, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, hey, hey, Ace. Oh, he caught him, I think. Did you catch him? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, man? He wants to go for a ride. Come on. He's wanting a ride. No, come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. Nope. Go. Look at him. Come here. Hey, come here. Let's go. <laughs> Good boy. Come here. This way. There's so many things Ace. that. This way. That get his attention. Come here. So we're trying to keep him focused and trying to keep him over here um, get in, with man. us. You Good stay. boy. Look, he's all bummed out, man. Now look at him. He's going to go for a ride. Oh, listen, he, he got in the side-by-side the -side with Will uh, today, and oh, my God. He's well, always wanting to go somewhere. All right, so it's the evening, and I usually try to take him on the mountain for a hike. Yeah. And he's ready to go. He's ready to yeah. go. But that thing, to me, that looks yeah. awesome. So let's be dazzled. <laughs> when you put a bunch of jewels, remember they used to, uh, women would bedazzle their clothes and it'd have uh, jewels on them. Oh, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. You actually had a machine. They did Sequences that and rhinestones yes, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's bedazzled. I got gotcha. you. But you could do, there's so many things that people do now on Pinterest and they show it on TikTok <clears> and all this kind of stuff. Oh my God, there's everything to do to a You can use that as a house. mural. Yes, absolutely. Wouldn't that be cool? You the, could put a skin. You could put a skin on it. A skin on it. Uh huh. A vinyl skin. You can do whatever you so want. So the hundred to. people that the first one hundred people yeah. that's I'm going to stop the contest at is that yeah. you're going to decorate it and then we're going to run a, a I don't know a contest. We'll show everybody when they submit the pictures. We'll yeah. show everybody what do you think and everybody will choose whichever one is the most popular one that everybody likes the best. And they'll vote. The most votes wins yeah. another incredible box another house. for free. Yeah. That's cool. I know. And to this morning you said we were 48 people away from being 100,000. Now we're 20 some people away. We need we'll 20, probably get it tonight. We need 20 people to we're subscribe hoping. tonight. A hundred, we'll have 100,000 subscribers. I can't even believe We've it. We've been trying to get there for five years. Oh, yeah, every bit, yeah. Is that embarrassing that we took us five years, or is it a or is it a, a nice thing that, that we're... Oh, I think it's a great... Listen, as hard as we work, I think it's amazing to uh, what we accomplish here. So, you know, and you have to think about it. Tiny houses, this is a very niche or niche kind of uh, yeah. thing. It is not an everyday, I know. everybody I'm not dancing thing. in my underwear, Amanda. <laughs> you don't have hey. a... Subscribe. <laughs> hey, you don't have a you don't have a cat driving a car or something. Look at my abs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I got a pretty face and all, but it's just not a draw on all the subscribers. <laughs> well, I th it means a lot to us because we've just worked so hard. We just know what it what it's took to do what we've done and where we're at today and you know i wanted somebody to hold the camera today yeah and we we've been again working oh, all day I but i want to hold the camera so 
you guys can see Amanda talk and, and, and yeah. them follow us around. So then she doesn't just hold the camera. So we're about to change a we're lot of things. We're about to change some things. On some stuff. So um, yeah. hang in there. Hope you guys will tune in more. But come on, let's go in the shop. Okay. Yep. I'm going to show a few Mine's things. <laughs> He's excited to go anywhere, Randy. He just wants to go I know it. He's just bored. All the I don't time. blame him. <laughs> hey, I did order him some stuff. So I got, got, some, I got a game for him. Good. Hey, Josh. Hey, there's a game I ordered. And you put the treats in it, and he has to put his paw and remember where the treat is. So we're gonna we're gonna give him a little test. See if he can. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Be fun, won't it? Well, I'd like to. Hey, remember them? You know, you can get somebody show me where you can touch, and they say things. Yes. I want a treat. That. I want to go outside. Yes. You, I'll find it. Or they'll say you're mean. You're nice. Leave me alone. I'm <laughs> sleepy. I'll find it. Hey. Ah. <sighs> They've been working hard on this house. There's a lot going on in here. Come here. Well, we can't get in. Mike's still working on the, the handrails and stuff. My God, Mike. What's up? Right there. Look at all this stuff. So he's Mike's putting up all these railings. Oh, yeah. Where? Oh, you're gonna put cedar branches. Oh, come oh, here. Cool. Oh, you, you haven't put them up yet. No, they're yeah. up against my fire. Nice. Oh, okay. Me and you both were sitting, buddy. Swear to my goodness. <laughs> it is crazy. I told Mary that. He said, Period, sit this time. And I got sick. I know. I know. I got sick Thursday. I should have coughed on him. I should have. So I'm sick. Here, look look up, look up, look up this way. So out there are his cedar branches he's going to put for him, for railings and pickets. Yeah. Those right there. Okay. And then. I think I'll be stirring. Oh, this goes. Oh, that nice. goes right on through there, doesn't yes, it? Does. Hey, oh, so you stay. All, all the metal ones because they hold the ridge beef up. Yep. Don't want to get as much. Yeah. Oh wow. Let me get up here. Now so what do you got going across? Will be another cedar or cedar, cedar branches? You know, branches. So do all that uh, for the I'm top do piece. The top piece. Or the cedar the branches. Like I got a log right there. If I cut it in half. Do a smooth top, cut those bob. So they can just drill into it. Like they go wide yeah. rounds. Yeah. I think it'd be super easy and quick. Nice. Oh, this looks so Instead good. Of trying to do in spindles here. and all that crap, you know, it, it, it could just go. Well, you know, for this being all symmetrical mm -hmm. and then throw a little bit of rough in there is really yes, nice, you know. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Really good one. I love it. We haven't been in a Holland st style house in a while. Yeah. Well, the one, right? one guy came in here mm -hmm. and he's been watching this and he came in and ordered one a ten by really? ten by forty two. Oh, that is right. That is ten right. By what? Ten by forty two. Shout out to Tony. Yep, Tony. Shout out and Dimitri. Yep. Or Demetrius. Yeah, they came here and they said, "Wow." <laughs> yep. It's a lot. Good, buddy. It's a cool house. I like, you know, it's like our house. You know, I'm yeah. Like, it's on our shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. It's on our logo. Well, now, Mike, right. Mike built the one that went. To the clip in uh, in uh, California. California. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you did that one too. <clears throat> Tom and John at the beginning on it, and then uh, me and Chuck finished it out. Mm -hmm. Yep. The thatch. Yeah, that is right. That is right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yep. The thatch. I finished all of them. All the ones we yep. built. <clears throat> Someone framed them in, and then I came and did all the walls and stuff. Look at the Remember little windows. The white, the white That's boards. Oh yeah. God. So cute. Sure, uh, yeah, and that one out in California actually had a weight limit, mm -hmm. and we had to use foam on the ceiling, and then we stuck out over the foam. Oh, that is right. Yeah. Foam on the walls, too. Yep. Lower half where we did the rock. Yes. Oh, yeah, on the outside. Yep, yep. yep. Had that foam stuff. Sure did. Yeah. And it was still heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a big house. There's a lot I know. It's a big house. But so this is a 10 by 34. 34, yep. We bumped it out two feet on the back because mm -hmm. the living room was just too small. So we bumped it out. Of course, it's got a bay window in the bed in the bedroom. Let me that, turn around this way. And you put the head of the bed in that bay window or the bay wow. part of it. And it's all custom windows. Yeah. You know, we ordered these, the custom ones up in all the peaks and the reverse gables and the eyebrow dormer. So you do have the the fender to contend with. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's a craftsman. Craftsman style. Has to be such a heavy house. Well, it's eleven foot two from the subfloor to the ceiling. Okay. You know, so we gain almost a foot to ten inches. Right. Mm -hmm. Versus a freedom, you know. Yeah. And that's My nice. Gosh, it's so gorgeous. 
report back and we'll. Can we show the back of it? Yeah, man. Come on. You wrapped it up. Ooh, nice. Yeah, see the. bathroom in there. It's getting done. So you walk in the staircase, you got lofts left and right. Mm hmm. See the rails? Oh my gosh. They won't fall, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Oh, it's got a skyline. It's a three way switch. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Cool. That looks nice. Oh, this is cool. Let me show you this. Oh, my God. Look how big it is. I know it's a huge loft, oh, man. This is Thank God you're not sick no more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's Here, let me see the no, camera. Randy, look at this. Here, let me show the camera. Oh. Well, right. they can't see the They thing. can in a minute. Okay. Here, I want to show them you standing there. This is me standing here. Right? Yeah. So you're standing right. See, that's why we build that ledge. So you can stand straight up. Yeah. And then you can enter each loft. Yeah. Going this lot, this loft is, I mean, it's just huge. I love what happened right here. Look at that. Isn't that look gorgeous? Isn't that nice? That's an eyebrow dormer nut. I'm telling you what, you tell me what tiny home has an eyebrow dormer, Mike. Oh, that's pretty. And look, it's got a skylight. Yep. Is that one fixed? Yes. Yeah. Fixed. Yeah, okay. Uh, today. Look, Randy, I fit here exactly. Look, if I back up. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. And I'm and then, five six. Now we did a a full this video of me of there was a sofa right there. Yes. And it's beautiful, man. And this was a bed. Wow. We had a bedroom over here. Over here. Yep. Yes. Oh, I love, I love it. See, I, this house is so cottagey. Oh my god, it is Isn't so it? cottagey. The little windows. The little windows do the cottagey thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And there's wow. and then and then it's so cut up. It's so nick, nook and cranny. So you got the shed dormer here. You got two reverse gable dormers there. Mm -hmm. Then you got an eyebrow dormer over here. Now this is different looking. To <sighs> me. I don't remember it being slanted like right there, kind of. Uh, what am I saying? Like mm, cut and like it, it ain't and cut. Something's different. No, it was. It's a little different, ain't it? Nope. Nope. Same thing. That's it. <laughs> it's the same thing. That's it. <laughs> okay, well, it looked different to me. Okay. All right, Ace. Look at <laughs> you. Ready to go, buddy? <laughs> Wagging his tail. Look, <laughs> Ace. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Oh, this is cool. I love it. What do you think, Ace? You want to live in this house? Lisa, gonna let you live in this house? Come on. Go on, honey. You come with me? Come on, let's go. Well, hey, your earbuds up there. Okay. Oh, it was right on, on the left when you go up. Yeah. I got to yep. show the bedroom real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, under the stairs, My if you go in. Goodness. Yeah. So there's like, so what's going? Oh my goodness. You got a water heater. Water heater and washer and dryer. Water heater and washer and dryer. This little one is for the low voltage lighting. No, the relay. Low voltage lighting. Oh, got okay. it. So outside, there's low voltage lighting all around oh. to illuminate the house yes. at night. Yes. Yep. Okay. And, and it's got a split, cool. mini split. There's two. Yeah. One there and here. Just yep. like the other one, one in California. Oh, yeah. It's different than what we usually get. Hmm. It is. It looks it. Sensitive, essential. Okay. Huh. It's a little bit different. Nice. And it's like bay is would that be called bayed out or what does that mean? And it's bayed out, man. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad that I run 220 or 12 3 wire because that system runs off a of 240. Does it really? So that comes in handy. Nice. That's why I run a the washer and dryer 110 and 240. Right. Both of them. You never know. You never know what's gonna what'd be needed. Now I remember that Rob did not call this an arch door. He called it something else, a round top or some, it was something else, but it was not. Of course, arch. Rob's going to call it something else. Yeah, Rob said it's not really an arch door, so I don't remember what he called it. You got that. But it was something, but isn't that pretty? What you, you got a raccoon in there? The box is in the office, going to the office. Yeah, what about it? I just got a raccoon. My envelope. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah. You're asking the wrong person, man. It's on the desk. 
I was told to pick it up. Oh, that, yes. All that goes to the Amish. Yes. Got it. Yep, all that goes to the Amish. We're good to go. Good. Yep. That's their check and everything. Thank you, sir. That's you win, see Joe. Thank when you. Come you. Up. Am I taking you too? I got to get David to make a meeting up there for us, and then I'll be up there. Right. Ask him. He's got to tell me when everybody's going to get together. I'm and then I'm coming. I'm bringing a big yeah. house back tomorrow, too, right? I don't know. Eight by 28? I guess. <laughs> no problem. Okay. I'm here, Doug. Yeah. I don't want to do Yeah. Ah. Okay, thanks. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe our hobbits. I know. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, I wasn't in here today. I've been out in the main building, building the building all day, so I don't know where the progress is on here, but I want it out by Thursday. That's our goal. Get now, this gone. I, that, uh, uh, I think you already said it before. We see a lot of material that is laying on these trailers. Tell everybody what that means. Well, it's staging. So we're bringing in, as you can see, trailer, 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 trailer here. This, let see, these two hobbits will be gone. Yeah, they will. Then when they're gone this Thursday, mm -hmm. then two more trailers will come in, and we're taking yes. all the men inside, mm -hmm. and we're starting all the builds at the same time. Yes. And these are all 10 by 20 mm -hmm. ESP homes. They've almost got a birthday on them. If they, yeah. I, Hell, they may even be two years old. I don't know. But it, we're going to get them done, yeah. and we're knocking them out. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to teach everybody exactly how we want to do them mm -hmm. because ESPs, there's only a handful of guys in here who know how to do them, and we're yes. all going to learn how. Mm -hmm. All the panels are already pre-built. The roofs are pre-built. Yes. The dormers are pre-built. Wow. It's already wired and plumbed on the traders and insulated. Mm -hmm. They're going to sheet these floors and get them ready by the time we come on here. Probably It'll probably be Monday because I'm getting these done and out of here out. before we start. That's right. Now, if we accomplish this, there's about six homes we're hoping to get done in about two three weeks. The only thing is the stucco. Two weeks, I think we can get out. We're going to team up mm -hmm. three to four men on each house okay. and get this thing out of here, right? Okay. Then we're going to take another, as soon as those are done, we've got six or eight more. They're going to come right in after them. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw them out and get them done. Now, what I love that you've done <clears throat> is that these houses, they will be, this is really, it will be an assembly. You're, they're just going to put them together. Kind of, yeah. They've already done the walls, the roof, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, excuse me, my coffin. Yeah. So, the 10 by 20s have actually been, if this isn't, they've not just sat here like this. The walls, the roof, all that stuff has been being put together. Yeah, right. And they're all going to be placed together, yeah. kind of, you know, with all the guys out here. Right, mm -hmm. right. And we can do that. We can do that because they're ESP panels. Correct. Now, there's not windows in the walls. There's not doors or anything like that set. So all we do is, you know, we cut the walls and, That's I mean, right. the doors and windows and put them in. Okay. Yeah. All, even the dormers are built with roofs on them. Wow. We're going to lift it up with a forklift, set it in place, screw it, and be done. I'm going to film <clears> the sugar out of it because this is so new to us. This is such yeah. a great idea that you had. I'm so excited. The houses will get done so quick. The guys, our new guys, are going to learn Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest things, in, uh, Randy and I had, had talked about this a long time ago, putting all the guys together and stuff so the younger guys who are coming in can learn off of these other guys. And even some of the older ones or the uh, more experienced ones, nobody knew how to handle the CSP. No. Nobody knows. It's brand new. You come right. up with it. Yeah, and in, in everybody's a little intimidated. You know, believe sure. it or not, there's guys, I don't want to do nothing new. Yeah. You know, but I like it. I like it. I like to be challenged, yeah. and, and I think we're, oh, I know, we're going to do really well. Oh, yeah. And so we're going to get all those 10 by 20s off the chart, and then we're going to, then we're going to do all our customs. These are customs. These are homes yes. that have been in the books before we sold our That's customs. Right. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to bring in, and all our traders are being done. So like mm -hmm. right now, after these are wired and plumbed, I got some more guys out there that are wiring and plumbing and insulating traders mm -hmm. that are custom ones after these. Mm -hmm. Those, all the materials, all the inventory are being taken care of and organized. So right after these are done, the other ones come in and we just keep going and going and, and going. And I cannot express, I'm not going to tell the number of how, how much inventory 
uh, that was ordered for January. Five hundred thousand dollars. Well, I didn't know if you wanted to tell that. I don't or not. care. Yeah, that's. I mean, we we're... listen. Uh, when um, Seth did the ordering, Alyssa gave me the numbers. I showed them to Randy. Half a million it was dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars worth of inventory that was ordered for January 2022. The money that we take that's... in for your homes, that's what we do. We spend it and we buy the materials we to buy build the them. Materials. That's why it's like you know on our contracts, there's no refunds when you sign. It's done and over because we buy everything. We have yeah. to order it then. Otherwise, we've got windows and doors and stuff. It's weeks and months out. Yeah. We have to order it then. That is why I drive a 97 Nissan pickup. <laughs> and that's why I live in a $20,000 Incredibox. Is because we are still not where we need to be We're not. to make this business flow the way I want it to be. Right. And, soon, and, and until we are grooving and we're going and we got it down and we're rolling we're and we don't, building the company. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not going to, I'm not going to exploit we're still or, building and, yeah. The company. Can I just say, I love this corner. This corner has never looked so good. It's cleaned up, I isn't it? I'm so tickled with it. Yep. It was a corner that just kind of had a magnet and it sucked everything Nobody over here. wanted to be in this corner. No. <laughs> yep. I love it. Good. But I'm excited about the, you know the the work that can be done yes. now one other thing i want to give hope to mm -hmm. and a lot of people that have homes that we're building for are watching this mm -hmm. and a lot of the people that still that live in our community watch this and yes. i hope and i hope you guys do and if you guys are watching this and you know somebody in the community that hasn't seen this video mm -hmm. maybe you might want to tell them to give a look see because i'm going to give you a little bit of info okay. about some stuff so right now uh, you guys know we have our Amish up in Kentucky. We're about to make a, a really fun, exciting, I say fun, it is fun. It's a, an exciting change up there. It's not really a change, it's an addition. So we're going to take one of our supervisors, yeah. Dave Clark. Dave Clark has built probably, I don't know, eight or ten now homes. He's helped on the Hobbit, overseen that. And he's a really particular builder, great guy. He's actually, we're going to actually move him to Kentucky. And he's going to stay in probably my son's uh, tiny home that we'd built, he built a few years ago. And the, and the Amish have a place for him to stay. He's going to live up there and help supervise the Amish. And what they're going to do is help, help um, get these custom homes off of our books that people are waiting for. We just had two, a 10 by 20 and a 10 by 8, 28 come back, and it was beautifully done it was right on the money what they're struggling with a little bit still is you know the the uh what do you call it this the sequence of getting the electrical plumbing down mm -hmm. and how what goes next to next to speed them up a little bit but they're doing great they're doing great mm -hmm. but we feel like if we put a, a supervisor up there they're gonna want there's a couple other more families that will come on knowing that hey you don't have to come here for three months to learn mm -hmm. we're gonna send a tutor up there to help the new families learn and they'll jump on crews that are building already that know mm -hmm. and we can expound on that that workmanship up in that area we've got a great relationship with them uh it's just it's it takes time mm -hmm. to uh to make that relationship and for us to grow we've all made a lot of mistakes getting the materials there in time getting them what they needed them getting the work done them learning about electrical and plumbing and our plans and all that yeah. stuff mm -hmm. We've got a good system. They're excited about it. We're excited about it. And taking uh, David up there to supervise these guys. So if we can end up getting to where we build six, eight homes a month, mm -hmm. and then they can build, you know, six, four to six right now, but six to eight again. Man, the 15 custom homes was my goal a month to get out. Mm -hmm. So if we can accomplish that, we will knock out what we have on the books, hopefully in four to five, six months. That would be so exciting. So like June, July, July, mm -hmm. probably. I'm hoping that maybe we can have majority of all of our custom homes off of our books. And, you know, not only the Amish, uh, Randy went to visit Zach, Zach yesterday. Zach's killing it. Zach's he's taking on another house, We're right? giving him one. So while he's finishing one up and maybe he's waiting for something, Zach mm -hmm. can start another custom home. Okay. He can get it going up. So everybody's excited. The, the, the mood is still here. The excitement. I feel like, again, I know I've said it before, it just feels like 
we're just getting off the ground. I know. It seems so It's new. taken some years to go, but getting the new building built, and we're building it like a fortress as we go. We just put 32 feet of roof on it. We're going to put the metal on it tomorrow. Then we'll go another 32, 32, 32. Two, I just want to uh, tell everybody that I am going to share. I took some pictures out there today. Yeah. So I'm going to share those on Do you Facebook. want me to repeat? You said tell everybody. You want me to say? <laughs> they, can, they can hear me. <laughs> they can hear me, but I'm going to post those on to Facebook okay. tonight. Facebook? Facebook. Uh, yeah. What is it called? Meta? Oh, yeah, they changed the name. Was it Meta Life? Ah, that's insurance. <laughs> it's MetLife. <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> With Snoopy. Meta. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll be in a we'll be on a virtual we'll be on a virtual screen, Manda. Whoa, what is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. So we needed twenty some subscribers. So hey, go in there. And we may have them now. Go over to your neighbor next door and say, "Subscribe to that channel." <laughs> yeah. And if they and if they subscribe and win a tiny house, then you know maybe you get a little and you know a little kickback. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yeah. So we are gonna get we are gonna give a house away. Yeah. Hundred thousand. So it sounds like tomorrow we'll have a hundred thousand subscribers. Hopefully. If not tonight. And we have got the house started. We did the floor. Got the got it all ah, set up. So that's exciting. I might you know I might I had I had a design in mind and I might do something a little bit different. Yeah. So I'll let you guys know. Okay. You know when we do it, but yeah. it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I don't know why we like giving houses away. Um, can I ask you something just really quick? Did you say are these hobbits going to be done this week? I wanted them. I have not been in here all day. I know you've not. So I, know. I don't know why that is not done, and the faces are not done, and I haven't been inside, and I don't want to go because it's late in the day, and oh, I don't yeah, want to get all late. worked up. Ah, I'm gonna get. You're gonna get tucked. I don't want listen, to. Listen, you're gonna get toe up from the flow up. Toe up from the flow up. <laughs> I don't want to get it. I tell Amanda, I was calling, she calls me, 8 o'clock at night. Hey, mini, 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 you know we're going to go. we got to uh -huh. do this. And I said, oh, whoa. No. Oh, oh whoa. No. Hey, it's like, zip it. Uh -huh. Hey, let's table let's it. Let's table it. And you know what I do if Randy calls me? You get me all worked no, no, up, listen, man. Listen, Do you know what I do if Randy calls me at 8 o'clock I don't call you at 8 o'clock. And he goes, boom, 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 I don't, I don't ever do you that. You know what I do? I go, boom, 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 I jumped right on board with you, buddy. What are you trying to say? You, you tell me to go bounce off. I, <laughs> I get so worked up, I start chewing on my arm. <laughs> and then it's 10 o'clock at night, and I'm... <laughs> the only thing is she doesn't waller around in here at about 9 a.m. I couldn't get up because well, I was I up had, late watching Black Leah. I was watching Black Leah, and I had COVID. The COVID. The COVID. Again. Round two. Two. Yeah. I made it though. This one was a good one. This one didn't, this one was nothing like the first time, so. Yeah. I did good. So thank you to everybody. Can I just still remind you? You're asking me? Uh, yeah, Randy. Okay. Of all the comments and, oh, we had so much fun Saturday night uh, with Jason and Seth out at the house. Watch that video of the space station going by. If you Were they on there? Say, J well, Jason just is, us talking. So, okay. Yeah, just us talking. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, God, it's so, it's so goofy, but it don't last long. But it, the comments, everybody, you guys are just fantastic. Really? Oh, That's awesome. Oh, my God, I love everybody. Everybody's just so great. There was, now, be sure and look at two or three or bad comments. They're like, you know, they ain't, they ain't too crazy about me, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Yes. Yes. So. I don't know. Amanda walks in the door in the morning, and everybody just goes, the day is on, let's go. <laughs> this yep. woman asked me, she said, do you have to screech? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. That's, that's just what I do. I'm going to tell you what, I'd rather a screecher than a, than a uh, what do you call it, a silent -er. <laughs> silent -er. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to. <laughs> I can't take it. Oh gosh! I gotta have some gotta life, have, man. Gotta have something going on. Yeah, Randy, a little something, something. I'd rather be annoyed <laughs> than bored. <laughs> I'd rather be. I'd rather be chewing my arm than just like, well, <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Okay, well, okay. Well, very quiet, very calm. Hey, it's like that real good-looking guy at Brothers Cove. <laughs> Remember that? He came in there. He came in the office. 
This guy was stunning. Listen, he was like he was like he Burt Reynolds. He was an Adonis. <laughs> he was gorgeous. You could you you could have carved him out of stone. Everything on him was gorgeous. I told man, I said, "You got to go after that dude." Yeah. He walked in. Oh my God! What did I do? You said you wanted to poke your eyes out. I, I, could, I couldn't find the scissors fast enough. I wanted to go and run with scissors. He, bless his heart, gorgeous for like 30 seconds. Yeah. And then I'm like, dude, you got to go. He was like. Like, oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> he, I got a truck. That's what I was going to say. That. He told me, he said, hey, I got a new truck. Oh, well. Mm, okay. <laughs> Next. He was pretty, though. God. But, man, pretty lasts for about 30 seconds. Isn't that you something? better produce. You better. <laughs> you better produce something. You better produce. I ain't fooled that man. Well, I'm not pretty, but I'll produce. Oh, you produce. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Hey, thank you, everybody. Subscribe to this channel, if you will. We need 20 more people. 22, then, I think. 22, and then we're done. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe 27. Then we retire, and we're done. you never see us again. <laughs> retire. <laughs> You've lost your mind. Yeah. So, Ooh. man, thank you so much. My next goal is a million. Oh. I'll probably be Wait 95 by then. You mean 100,000 to a million? Everybody says, oh, your, your subscribers are going to go rocket into the sky. Oh, I see. I was like, okay. Why? It, it took five years to get here. It took five years. I think the next 100,000 is going to take 10 years. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to enjoy this 100,000 for just oh, a little yeah, bit. Oh, yeah. I'm done. Okay. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Good. Okay. Can't thank you all enough. And you know what? There was a ton of people who were super uh, condol condolences con what? about the building falling. Oh, you know? yeah. And uh, it was... They sent their condolences. Yeah. I, you know, I never say that word. I don't know why I'm why saying it now. Why say something I don't like that? know. Because I'm, you, on, listen, I'm talking to the you, world here. You don't talk like that. Neither do I. So yeah. stop it. Hey, they gave her their thanks. Hey, have you ever... Listen, I have seen this with Randy, and I saw it with my mamma Ruby. A long time ago when I was a little girl. Mamma Ruby would talk like me at the house. We would go out somewhere, and I'd look up at her, and she'd talk, and I was like... Mamma, what? Where'd that come what? from? Why are you talking like that? She'd be all nice and fancy and well, you her got words yeah. and very, you know. You can't be going there screeching everybody, man. Oh. <laughs> you can't? <laughs> That's what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Dang it. Dang it, man. Dang it, man. Yeah. Dang it, Bobby. So, we'll never know it 100 years from now, everybody. So, you don't worry about screeching. <laughs> okay. Hope you had a great day. Thank you for watching. Yeah incredible tiny homes and look forward to what's going to happen next week in here we are getting ready for Ooh, a storm yes. and i hope that the people that are waiting for their homes i hope they're getting excited mm -hmm. we're gonna have a build schedule for you and we're gonna knock out what we have on the books so much you guys don't know how much we go to bed thinking about yes. it we get up thinking about it and we work all day thinking about it i can't Just wait. get these done this is exciting yeah so all right everybody thanks bye and the dog's gone Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to get a text. He just in my, <laughs> in my yard. In my God. <laughs> All right, we'll go find him. Ace! Oh, Lord. I better That's turn awesome. this off so I don't screech nobody's ears. <laughs> Bye.